In the realm of philosophy, where the musings of great minds from Plato to Nietzsche have shaped our understanding of the human experience, one name often overlooked is that of Emmett Fox. Yet, hidden within his teachings lies a philosophy that can radically transform your life. It's a philosophy of speaking to yourself in a way that attracts all you desire, drawing from a deep well of wisdom spanning centuries and cultures. Emmett Fox, a new thought leader in the early 20th century, believed in the profound influence of our thoughts and words on our reality. He argued that by mastering the art of self-talk, we could unlock the door to our heart's desires. To understand this philosophy, one must delve into the rich tapestry of human thought, from the ancient Greeks' emphasis on the power of Logos to the romantic poet's celebration of the imagination. At its core, Fox's philosophy is an amalgamation of beliefs drawn from Christianity, particularly the idea that we are made in the image of a creator and possess divine potential. He argued that we have the capacity to co-create our reality by harnessing the power of our words. This concept echoes the biblical wisdom found in Proverbs 18.21, which declares, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. His spiritual conviction revolves around the concept that the thought is the thing, thereby aligning with the core principles of New Thought ideology. This philosophy asserts that the human mind's capacity to conceive and firmly believe serves as the catalyst for accomplishment, as well as the gateway to personal transformation through the renewal of one's mental faculties. Or, in the more literal definition, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So, how do we speak in a way that attracts our desires? Emmett Fox suggests affirmations as a key tool. These are positive statements or declarations we make to ourselves repeatedly. By affirming what we desire in the present tense, we shift our mindset and draw our desires closer to us. This practice aligns with the German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche's idea that we have art in order not to die of the truth. Affirmations like works of art allow us to create a new desired truth for ourselves. Consider an everyday example. Imagine someone seeking love who consistently tells themselves, I am lovable and I attract loving relationships. Through repetition, this affirmation transforms their self-perception and radiates outward, making them more attractive to potential partners. The benefits of this philosophy are abundant. By speaking positively to ourselves, we cultivate self-confidence, resilience, and a sense of purpose. We begin to manifest our desires with greater ease, forging a life that aligns with our deepest aspirations. This approach resonates with the romantic poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge's idea that imagination gives us the power to bring the unreal into reality. However, as with any powerful tool, there are dangers in misusing it. Join me in the next part of this journey where we will explore the potential pitfalls of Emmett Fox's philosophy of self-talk and how to navigate them on the path to attracting all you desire. So. Stay tuned, for the journey into the power of words has only just begun. In our exploration of Emmett Fox's philosophy of speaking to ourselves to attract all we desire, we must acknowledge that like any profound concept, there are potential pitfalls. It's vital to tread this path with mindfulness and discernment, drawing from the wisdom of philosophers and thinkers who have contemplated the complexities of human thought and language. One danger of this philosophy lies in the temptation to oversimplify our desires. When we reduce our dreams to mere affirmations, we risk overlooking the nuanced journey required to achieve them. This is reminiscent of the cautionary words of the German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer, who warned that every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. In essence, we must be careful not to let our affirmations blind us to the complexity of reality. 
consider a person who fervently affirms, I am wealthy, without taking concrete steps toward financial success. This oversimplified approach can lead to complacency, as they may believe that their words alone will magically manifest riches. Instead, we must remember the wisdom of the English poet William Blake, who declared, Exuberance is beauty. In other words, we must combine our affirmations with inspired action. Another pitfall is the risk of delusion. By continually speaking affirmations, we might become detached from objective reality, living in a world of our own creation. The German philosopher Immanuel Kant emphasized the importance of reason and grounding our beliefs in empirical evidence. While affirmations can be a powerful tool, they should be balanced with a clear understanding of the world as it is. For example, someone affirming, I am always healthy, may neglect proper diet and exercise. Believing their words alone will shield them from illness. This can lead to neglecting preventative measures and a false sense of invincibility. Furthermore, the philosophy of self-talk can inadvertently foster a culture of victim-blaming. If we buy into the notion that our thoughts alone determine our reality, we might wrongly judge others for their misfortunes, assuming they simply didn't think positively enough. This perspective fails to consider external factors, societal inequalities, and the complexities of human existence. To avoid these pitfalls, we must approach Fox's philosophy with a nuanced understanding. Affirmations are a tool, not a magic wand. They should be paired with action, empathy for others, and an awareness of the broader context of life. Now that you know the potential pitfalls, you might be wondering how affirmations and speaking should be used. In the next part of this journey, we will delve into this question, describing practical applications and offering guidance on how to use affirmations effectively, all while maintaining a balanced view of reality. The journey towards attracting all you desire is a winding path, but by navigating the pitfalls with wisdom and compassion, we can make meaningful strides toward our aspirations. So, stay with us as we continue our exploration of this transformative philosophy. As we embark on the final leg of our journey into Emmett Fox's philosophy of speaking to ourselves to attract all we desire, it's time to focus on practical applications and mastering the art of affirmation. Building on the insights of great thinkers, from Socrates' call to know thyself to the wisdom of modern psychologists, we'll explore how to harness the power of words effectively while remaining grounded in reality. The key to successful affirmation lies in the precision of our language. Our thoughts and words should be aligned with our deepest desires, framed in the present tense and phrased positively. For example, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, you might affirm, I am healthy and fit. This shift in language signals to the subconscious mind that your desire is already a reality. German philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein's philosophy of language serves as a reminder that the limits of our language can be the limits of our world. By expanding our vocabulary to include powerful positive words, we open doors to new possibilities and reshape our perception of reality. Additionally, repetition is key to ingraining affirmations in our subconscious. Daily practice, whether spoken aloud or written, reinforces our desired beliefs. English poet T.S. Eliot once wrote, The greatest proof of our inner strength is in our daily routine. Indeed, the daily repetition of affirmations can strengthen our resolve and create lasting change. However, it's crucial to accompany affirmations with intentional action. German philosopher Johann Wolfgang von Goethe's words, Thinking is easy, acting is difficult, and to put one's thoughts into action is the most difficult thing in the world. Remind us that words alone cannot shape our reality. We must take concrete steps towards our goals. Furthermore, 
Humility is essential. Acknowledging that we are not in control of every aspect of our lives aligns with the wisdom of the Christian prayer, Thy will be done. Sometimes what we desire may not be what is best for us or the world at large. Therefore, we must be open to adjusting our affirmations as we grow and evolve. Finally, we must avoid the temptation to judge others based on their circumstances. As we pursue our desires through affirmations, let us remember the words of the English poet John Donne, No man is an island entire of itself. We exist within a complex web of interconnected lives and events, and not everyone has the same opportunities or experiences. In conclusion, Emmett Fox's philosophy of speaking to ourselves to attract all we desire is a powerful tool when used mindfully. By crafting precise affirmations, repeating them diligently, taking meaningful action, and remaining humble and empathetic, we can harness the transformative potential of this philosophy. The benefits are vast, from increased self-confidence to a more fulfilling life. However, we must always navigate this path with wisdom, acknowledging its limitations and potential dangers. With these insights and practices in hand, you can embark on a journey of self-discovery and transformation, speaking your way into a future rich with possibilities. Remember, the power of words is within your grasp. Use them wisely to shape the life you desire.